In rural India, it can be rare to see women break from traditional roles. But Rupinder Kaur is making a living and doing it with cutting-edge tech. Several times a week, she operates an agricultural drone over a farm in her hometown to help farmers spray pesticides and fertilizers on crops. Growing up in a small village in Punjab, she never imagined herself with a job like this. But with her drone buzzing above the fields, Kaur is not just changing her own life, but breaking barriers for women in her community. It all started a year ago when Kaur learned about a government program that trains rural women as licensed agricultural drone pilots. The program is dubbed Namo Drone Didi, meaning Drone Sisters in Hindi. It aims to provide 15,000 women's self-help groups across India with industrial drones to help empower their members. For many rural Indian women like Kaur, leaving home is a big deal. Now, her job has not only freed her from the kitchen, but also boosted her family's income. First of all, it is a big thing for us that we are flying drones. It's not even an easy job for any common man, especially for women who are used to staying at home and even coming out of home is believed to be a big deal, whether we are allowed to or not. We are doing this work and getting respect from society because of this. We are being respected by our families as well. And we are earning good money too. Agricultural drones are gaining popularity with farmers like Sanjeev Kumar, who find them affordable and sustainable than hiring laborers. The drone is saving us a lot of time. We don't need to go around looking for water. The situation in our village is that we don't have good electricity supply, so we're required to collect water and store it. Secondly, we also cannot hire laborers very easily. Thirdly, it saves us from the dangers of snakes and scorpions. Once we used it, we understood that we can do a lot of work without all these problems. Kaur can fly her drone over 10 acres a day, earning up to 4,500 rupees, or $52 per job. She urges women to believe in themselves. If we, the residents of villages, can do it, then everyone can. Women should not think that it is the work of men and that we cannot do it. They should rather come forward. If we can do it, Everyone can.